So today we're going to move from uh, Renbury to Whitchurch, which is about six and a half hours. We've got um, a staircase lot to do today, so that's quite interesting. Um, but this weather is awful. I need to get some diesel and do a pump out, which uh, I'm just going to check up at the boatyard now to make sure I can do that before we move off. But I guess, you know, we can leave it till sort of 10 a.m. if we have to, to try to get this weather to pass. Um, because we've only it's only about six hours to Whitchurch, so we should be okay. That's fine. I'm having a disaster at the moment. This may have resolved by the time I get around to do these videos. I don't know. I hope so. But my laptop won't come on, and there is so much footage there of the trip towards Liverpool, which I've put into there and then took off my memory cards and, and off my phone uh, memory and stuff. That's a disaster, and I'm pretty depressed about it because that's, yeah, all right, there's the cost of a new laptop if it's the laptop that's gone down, but just the work that's gone into doing all that recording, that's horrible. I just hope when I get back to Brum, I can get it sorted. Well, oh, it's in the pit of my stomach, you know, that horrible feeling that I've lost all that work. We'll see. Okay, right, up to this boatyard in the rain. What joy! Come down to Rembury Mill, got some fuel, having a problem with pump out at the moment. Won't switch on. I need that emptying stinky boat. So pump out done. <coughs> some nice friendly people here gonna open the bridge for me. anyway so that's good Burgers at Dusty Miller. Very nice. 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 Top burgers. Top burgers. And Rembury is in the top 50 of the most beautiful villages in the UK. There you go, not bad at all. Can we go and visit the other 49? Oh, okay then. This all gets very tight down here. It's all about the reeds. But let's hope something doesn't want to come the other way. So the rain started again, but uh, I can't believe how, how tight it is over here. How, it's just, it's very tight. Thankfully, I suppose the rain is, is uh, stopping a lot of people wanting to come out cruising. So at least that makes it easier. Um, otherwise I'm going to be in the reeds a lot, I guess. It's all very pretty when it's sunny. Off she goes into the rain. Are you okay? Here we are at Coisley Locks. Nice. Got a bit of work to do for the next time. Hour, I guess.
there is so much water that is traveling down this canal. It's very clever use of, of the canal system to transport water into, into England, basically. And now we've just gone through Willie Moore Lock. It's got a pub, which is very nice. Uh, then we've got Povey's Lock. Then we get to the complex of locks and staircase lock. The water is getting to my, uh, getting into my circuitry. So I'm extremely wet today. Extremely wet. I've always been a bit of a drip, truth be known. Bobby's lock. We're getting there. It feels like the sun is just about to come out. It's just just there. Just this is just like that misty stuff. It's annoying though. Because you can almost feel the heat of the sun. But I'll stop moaning about the weather now. I'm not going to talk about the weather again. down the side of her. Yeah, struggling with that. I really mean these by washes. Really mean. Mrs. Lumsden says that looks like a child's drawn a tree and hasn't yet put the, the leaves and like a curly bit of round fluffy stuff around it. Only one paddle working on this one, missus. Okay. Just the one, it's gonna be a bit slow. Are you dry? Pardon? Are you dry? <laughs> no. Who needs to be dry at our age? Okay, ask them I'm happy. Hang on a minute. Are you happy? Yes. Oh, and that makes me happy. So, Grindy, staircase locks. There we go. So, the staircase lock. Bottom lock is now empty. Mrs. Lumsden can come into there. Up there is a middle lock, that's got to be full, and the lock above that has to be full. So what we'll do when Mrs Lumsden is here, is then we'll empty the middle lock, which will fill this lock. We then go across, and we go into the top lock. This is lovely here. Nice shop and cafe. Comes 
Deus, Miss Giselle. Into the bottom lock. So she's in the bottom, so now we're going to empty the middle lock to bring her up to the level of that. So all of this water in here is going into there to bring her up to the level. And there she goes from the bottom lock into the now empty middle lock. The top lock is full and once we've got these bottom gates closed we can then empty the top lock which will take her up to the new level at the top. So these are um, CRT lock volunteers. I like it already know about these guys. Those of you who don't do any narrow boating, these are really good guys who give their time to make more challenging flights like this um, a bit more understandable and easier particularly if you're a, a single hander so if you have to get off the boat and stuff they'll do that for you so the boat's still now just rising up so that we get into that top lock and then we'll fill the top lock and that'll take us out to the top one. And there we are, we're now in the top lock, now onto the new level. So, tell me about what was going on at the bottom. Nothing to tell. What was going on? Nothing to show him. I'll Look see, it I'll see on the bow camera later. You can expect some voiceover rebuke. She's, has she been on safari? <laughs> Deep into safari. <laughs> so let's have a little look at the bow camera footage. I mean, everything seems to be going okay. She's lining up to come into where the lock is. Doesn't look like she's starting to veer a little bit to the left. Yeah, there's definitely something going. There's no sign of any reversing. She's just heading straight for the foliage. And I have no idea. Okay, okay, looks like we're going in. Yeah, we're definitely going in. Oh, oh my God, we're we're well in. We're at, actually, we're right. Okay, we're we're fully in. We're we're in. Okay, Mrs. L. I think that's enough. Back up. I, I don't know whether she thinks she's like on the Mars lander and she's on some sort of mission to to get some sort of sample from the uh, from the depths of the undergrowth. But there, she's done it though. She's uh, mission accomplished. There it is. She's, she's coming out, she's, she, yeah, there it is, there's the sample of the um, extreme foliage that she went into. It's obviously a very brave mission that she's uh, undertaken there, and uh, I guess she's now going to deliver that to me up on the lock. No, I don't know. You don't have to make something happen to make these vlogs exciting, you know. Simple enough, Mrs. I enjoyed that. Good, glad you did. Did. Glad to have a lovely time. Has it cheered you up? I've not been miserable. Oh, you have. I'm not. <laughs> just splattered. Not miserable. I'm just disappointed. You know that Aww. thing. Just disappointed in the weather. I'm sure the weather's really sorry that it's done wrong. And Sport, my day. <laughs> but you know what cheers me up? Getting back on the boat with my beautiful wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next year. She wants a camper van. Do you want to hear it? Hello. Are we just copying everybody else? Everybody, have that as a, everybody has a narrow boat, then they get a camper van, don't they? I think Are you just copying everybody? Just copy. I think you just realise that 
once you get into this lifestyle, just how enjoyable it is. And then you just think, I just want to go a little bit further. Oh, like Scotland. reverse <laughs> winding. I'm winding and giving instruction now reverse Drift a bit. That's it. Right, now forwards. That's it, just steady now, just nice and steady. Church Arm. So having ventured over the up the Whitchurch Arm, there's no moorings, so we've had to wind and come back out. Hey ho, but I do want to go to Whitchurch because I've had enough of this weather. So yeah, we've kind of done half a day because it's a bit pants out there, <laughs> to be honest. But we did want to come to Whitchurch and, and I think it's quite nice. It looks like it's got quite a lot of stuff there. But we're just giving... We're going to have a coffee and hope that this rain just eases off and then we'll have a walk-in. And no doubt have a bevy or two. See if we can find pub of the day, pub of the day. Da, da. Maybe we'll find a church to find grave of the day, grave of the day, pub, pub, grave of the... You just need to change your um, signature tune. The, the signature, the theme tune. Yeah. So we don't want grave of the day, grave of the no. day. What do we want? Grave of the day. But in tune, maybe? <laughs> there was no tune. Grave of the day. How about that? Something probably a little bit more religious. Oh, religious. Um, <laughs> I don't do religious. I mean... You only need to see the amount of steam coming off my coffee to realise just how cold it is. You can see why we terminated proceedings. This wasn't going to go away. Look, this will do. I'm actually at a winding hole, but there are no signs to say I can't moor here. And it's, it's probably... 150 feet across so I'm pretty sure anybody can moor here anybody can wind here with me being moored it's all I get in anyway I'm not moving again today right Mrs Lumsden 
we're in Whitchurch. This is the winding hole that we were forced to reverse into earlier because the arm only goes to there and then this was all a seemingly private moorings. I wasn't very impressed. Take a lot not not impressed. Down. But we're here now, it's still raining. I'm not going to mention the weather again on this vlog. But um, let's find a pub. That's what we do well. That's, That's when people see us at our best. <laughs> the ringing bells again, missus. Our beautiful church here in Whitchurch. Uh, is it five o'clock? Five o'clock. This doesn't look like a Roman wall to me. It's lovely. I like Wick Church. Go have a little look. I've never heard of St. Alchemond. That makes for some very interesting reading if you want to pause this bit of the film. What an absolutely beautiful place. That window. It's stunning, isn't it? Sixteen sixty one, and the cover is seventeen thirteen. Nearly as old as you, Mrs. Lumsden. Nineteen ninety two. Cover that. Can't see much because of the reflection of the stained glass window. Beautiful though. Music school, London Town. Royal Monty money came from the Queen. Yes, July seventeen eleven. The foundation of this church was laid on the twenty seventh of March seventeen twelve, and consecrated the eighth of October seventeen thirteen in the second year of the reign of Queen Anne. Mm -hmm. Some more of the cast iron tablets. This is what we saw in the other graveyard in Church Minchel. Uh, early 1800s again. So we had a little stroll around the town. I managed to deflect her away from a few shop windows selling cushions and throws and the like. We visited a couple of pubs, some of not much particular note. Uh, but we went into this one, which is the old town hall vaults, and came across this guy, Sir Edward German, a very famous British composer, was born in this room. The music that's playing is one of his compositions. It's uh, the Shepherd's Dance from the Three Dances from Henry VIII. We like this pub. This was a Jules pub. We like a Jules pub. There's a couple in Litchfield we really enjoy. Then we came across Rubens, which is like a smokehouse sort of bar. Beautiful. Um, we went straight for the slab of crackling. That didn't last long, but Mrs. L likes to go for some smaller dishes, so she also went for the baby back ribs and also some garlic butter and parmesan fries, which were absolutely sublime. And of course, I went for a big one. It was the boneless. It was absolutely gorgeous. We'll go back to Rubens. So thank you for cruising with us again. We grow ever closer to Langothan, our final target for the summer's holiday. Not that it looks much like summer, but yeah. So thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for sticking with it to the end of this vlog. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>